Los Angeles Angels hosting the Seattle Mariners. The Mariners are minus 200 on the money line. The Angels are plus 170. The over-under is 8.5 runs. Seattle laying a run and a half are minus 120, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win this game by two. The Angels getting a run and a half are minus 102, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. If they lose by one, you win. Kirby pitched twice against the Angels this year. Six innings, two runs, two earned. They lost four to one. Six innings, one run, one earned. They won two to one. Toussaint did not pitch against the Mariners last year or this year. The Mariners are on a two-game winning streak. They're 6-4 and four in their last 10. They are 33-28 and 28 on the road. They've won Kirby's last two starts. They're 10-6 and six with him on the mound, and the over is 9-6-1. They are 60-58 and 58 on the run line, meaning if you've been betting them getting or laying runs, you're two games over 500. The Angels are on a two-game losing streak. They're 6-4 and four in their last 10. They are 26-33 and 33 at home. They are 55-62 and 62 on the run line, meaning if you've been betting them getting or laying runs, they're seven games under 500. I apologize because the site that I use to do the pitcher stats says still two TBD for uh, the Angels pitcher. Head-to-head, -head, the Mariners are on a three-game winning streak. The, uh, the Mariners are 6-4 and four against the Angels in their last 10. The underdog getting a run and a half is 8-2 and two in their last 10. There's been three one-run games in their last 10 meetings. The over has hit in their last four games. The over-under is 4-4-2. Four, four, That's what the casino set to that. The under 8.5 is 8-2, and, and the road team is 7-3. and three. I'm going Seattle with the money line. Seattle laying the runs and the under in this game. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.